J-E-L-L-O. The Jell-O program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston and Phil Harris and his orchestra. The orchestra opens a program with Fine and Dandy. <laughs> the month of weddings, and here's a special hint for June brides. In planning your first menus, have Jell-O often for dessert. For all men, like everybody else, enjoy Jell-O's extra-rich fruit flavor. You can serve Jell-O in hundreds of different ways, in salads as well as desserts, and on each package you'll find one or more helpful new Jell-O recipes. And here's another grand thing about Jell-O. It's so easy to make. Why, it takes no time at all to turn out a dessert that looks as if you'd worked hours over it. Remember that Jell-O is a great help in making your menus deliciously different and always keep a supply of Jell-O on hand. But when you order Jell-O, be sure you get the real thing, genuine Jell-O. Look for the big red letters on the box. They spell Jell-O. That was fine and dandy played by the orchestra. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we bring you a man who looks twice as good as ever before, but oh, how he looked before, Jack Benny. <laughs> well, well, well. Yes, sir. Hello again. This is Jack Benny talking. And thanks, Don. Thanks very much for the compliment. If it was. I mean... Well, Jack, I couldn't help observing how rapidly you've improved since your illness. Really, it's amazing. Oh, there's nothing unusual about it, Don. We Bennies are a sturdy family. You know, very unlollipoppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, Jack, you certainly are the picture of health. I feel good, too. And you know what's been doing it, don't you? Plenty of fresh air and exercise. Well, that's news to me. Do you really go in for exercise? Oh, passionately. <laughs> <laughs> Why, I'm on my third rowing machine. <laughs> By the way, Don, when, uh, where are the uh, next Olympic Games? Mm, in Japan in 1940. Gee, I wish they were sooner. <laughs> you know, Jack, I had no idea you were such an athlete. Oh, yes, yes. Well, tell me, Jack... Uh, just what is your formula in the pursuit of muscular stimulation? Well, I, uh, uh what was that, Don? <laughs> I say, what do you do for exercise? Oh. 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 <laughs> well, Don, the first thing in the morning, I fling back the covers and jump out of bed. Uh, then I do my breathing exercises. What's that? I smell my breakfast. <laughs> Uh, by that time, I'm ready for my, uh... Oh, hello, Kenny. Hello, Jack. What are you fellas talking about? Exercises that have been building him up. Oh, exercises. I train her. You have? Uh, what does he do for you, Kenny? Oh, he takes me for a run through the park, and then he makes me jump through hoops, and after that, he makes me balance a ball on my nose. Yeah. <laughs> but, Kenny, you've got an animal trainer. What? An animal trainer. Well, he certainly did wonders for me. <laughs> he did, huh? You should see me bury a bone. <laughs> Kenny, Kenny, you're positively silly. Oh, yeah? Well, I've got a smart brother, and he's starving to death. Oh. <laughs> well, well, I surrender. Oh, say, Don, uh... What's the matter with Phil? He's standing over there by himself. Why doesn't he join us? Well, you know, Jack, he's probably embarrassed about that wristwatch incident last week. Oh, well, he should be, giving me a watch for Christmas present and not keeping up the payments. Oh, you should worry. Yeah, say, what's a watch to me? I can always call up Central and find out what time it is. <laughs> sure. Of course, I'll look funny walking around with a telephone on my wrist. <laughs> 
<laughs> Build a booth around it and nobody will see it. <laughs> that's right, that's right. And I can hang a phone book on my ear. <laughs> Imagine me walking around with my stomach full of nickels. <laughs> Well, if I were you, Jack, I wouldn't be angry at Phil. He didn't mean it. Oh, I'm not mad at him, Don. I love Phil. But it's the principle of the thing. After all, you know, I've done a lot for that rat. <laughs> well, take it from me, Jack. He feels pretty bad about it. Uh, bad enough to buy me a new watch? No. Oh, hello, Phil. Oh, hello. I didn't see you in back of that fist. <laughs> How are you? I'm all right. And I want to tell you, Jack, I'm sorry about that watch. Oh, forget about it, Phil. You know the old saying, easy come, you can't keep it. <laughs> yes, sir. Hello, Jack. Hello, Don. Hello, Phil. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Mary. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Joe? Who's Joe? My uncle. He's listening in. Oh. <laughs> Well, Mary, uh, Mary, do you notice any change in me? How do I look? Mm, you look swell, Jack. Gee, you're so tan and muscle-bound. <laughs> muscle-bound? Why, Don told me I look better than I ever did. Oh, Don's full of baloney. Is that so? Jack's full of nickels. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Mary, Don noticed a great improvement in me, and it's because I've been taking a lot of exercise. That's what's doing it. That's nothing. I exercise, too, every morning. You do? Uh, well, tell me, Mary. Get this, Don. Uh, tell me, Mary, what is your formula in the pursuit of muscular stimulation? Uh, do you want a specific retort, or shall I generalize? <laughs> well! <laughs> Toy with that, big boy. <laughs> Isn't she clever tonight? I'd give my annuity for a snappy answer. <laughs> There's a phone. I'll take it. Hello? Yes? It's for you, Mary. For me? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes? Who is it, Mary? Quiet, nosy. Oh. Uh, yes, this is Miss Livingston. Oh, hello, Mr. Shower. Yes? Well, I'll try. Hold the line, please. Jack, it's Mr. Shower, my producer at Paramount. Yeah, what does he want? He wants me to come over to the studio right away and shoot an important scene. Can I go? Well, yes, if it's important, Mary. Thanks. Uh, hello, Mr. Shower. It's okay, Toots. I'll be right over. <laughs> so long. Toots? That's his first name. His first name is Melville. Well, his secretary calls him Toot. Oh. Well, you better run along, Mary. After all, it's your first picture. Oh, uh, Mary, before you go, uh, I'd like to ask you a favor. Sure. What is it, Don? If there's a spot in your picture where you can mention... Well, of course, I, I don't want you to be obvious about it, but if you can just squeeze in a word about those six delicious flavors, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'll do the best I can. Yeah, but be subtle about it, Mary, you know. Anything else, Don? Well, let me see. Uh, oh, what's the name of your picture, Mary? It's called uh, This Way, Please. Well, gee, I'd appreciate it if you could get them to change it to This Way, Jello. <laughs> Yes, Mary, it only means changing one word, you know. But don't be obvious about it. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Hey, this way Jello doesn't make sense. Hey! hey. <laughs> well, run along, Mary, and good luck on your picture. So, so long, long, Mary. Mary. Goodbye. Hey, Jack. What? I just thought of something very funny. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, come on now, tell me, what is it? Oh, no, I'm saving it for my picture. Oh. <laughs> Gee, I can hardly wait to see it. Play, Phil.
dance played by our rollicking rhythm rascals and directed by that eminent American maestro, Mr. Phil I.G. Harris. Thanks, Jack, but what's the I.G. for? Indian giver. Wow! <laughs> I certainly sprung the trap that time. You should have been in it. Hey, I thought you went to Paramount. I came back for that joke. Goodbye. <laughs> Say, Phil, do you think that gag was worth coming back for? No. And say, Jack, I don't want to harp on this, but I've been feeling kind of low all week. You're not really angry about that watch, are you? No, Phil, of course not. And don't worry about it. Let me tell you something, Phil. There's something greater than the material things in life. Something beyond and above earthly possessions. And, Phil, I value your friendship more than all the watches in the world. Jack, you're kidding. I sure am. <laughs> Well, to show you my heart's in the right place, I'll buy you a present next week that'll make up for everything. Yeah, well, get me something I can nail down. <laughs> or at least something I can eat. All right, I'll get you a plunk steak. That's plank. No, it's plunk. I'm going to hit you over the head with it. <laughs> Fine friend. Phil, you're the kind of a guy who could split up Damon and Pythias. Are they still running around together? <laughs> I don't know. I missed Winchell's broadcast. <laughs> I wish somebody would knock on the door or something. What a coincidence. <laughs> Come in. Well. Hi, you buck. <laughs> Andy, I'm glad to see you. Same here. Hey, you're quite a stranger. Haven't been around in almost a month. What happened? Well, I started down here several times, buck. Then I thought, oh, there's no use putting on my shoes just for that. <laughs> Why? Is that so much trouble? Well, I don't mind putting them on. It's the buttoning that gets me. Uh, oh. <laughs> Say, I hear you were pretty sick. Yes, Andy, and I was kind of disappointed that you didn't send me anything. Well, I was going to send you flowers, but Ma said, better wait and see which way it goes. <laughs> Well, I, I feel all right now. You know, I've been exercising. You ought to try it. Huh? Buck, by the time I get through plowing and chopping wood, I ain't got no time for it. Oh, naturally, naturally. About the only real exercise I get is helping Ma carry Pa up to bed. <laughs> Why, is the old boy that lazy? Yep, most every night he comes home dead lazy. <laughs> I get it, I see. <laughs> Say, where's Mary? I'm over at Paramount working on my picture. Go away, Mary. What were you saying, Andy? I said, where's Mary? Oh, she had to go over to Paramount to work on her picture. She did? Yeah. You know, I'm working over there, too. I'm with Bing Crosby. Oh, you and Bing, huh? <laughs> yeah, say, Buck, do you think two crooners in one picture is overdoing it? <laughs> mm, no, Andy, no. You and Bing don't sing anything alike. I don't know. He's coming along pretty fast. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't worry about it. Say, Andy, have you got any cute girls working with you? Mm, mighty cute, Phil, but they ain't cooperating worth a darn. They ain't, eh? Well, maybe they prefer Bing Crosby. After all, he's a ladies' man. That's what I told you. Two crooners is too much. <laughs> there's something to that, huh? Uh, but there's one thing I can't understand, Buck. What's that? Well, if those gals are so stuck on Crosby, why do they let me run out and get them sandwiches all the time? <laughs> Well, they, they must like you, too. I know, but it gets pretty monotonous hearing them say, Oh, honey, to Bing and Ham on Rye to me. 
Well, cheer up, Andy. You may work yourself up the chicken salad. <laughs> well, that's pictures for you. You know, I'm starting on one myself pretty soon. It's called Artist and Model. Have you got a good part? Only the leading role, Andy. Say, Jack, what did you say the name of your picture is? Uh, Artists and Models. Artists and Models? Why, they've been shooting that for six weeks. They have? Well, I better get over there. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> yeah, if you want to get in it. Uh, say, maybe I better call them up and see about it. What's the number of Paramount, Andy? Have they got a telephone? Why, certainly. Shucks, and I've been sending carrier pigeons. <laughs> Give me that phone. Operator, get me the uh, Paramount Studio, Hollywood. And I bet they're trying to put something over on me. You know, Andy, I had a hunch that. Hello? I want to speak to Mr. Gensler, please. Yeah. You know, Andy, I had a hunch. Hello, Mr. Gensler? This is Jack Benny. Yeah. Uh, say, what about my picture, Artists and Models? Oh, all right, then. What about Artists and Models? <laughs> well, I understand you've been shooting it for six weeks. When are you going to get to me? I'm not worried. What? Well... Don't I come out of the barrel at all? <laughs> oh, at the finish, I see. Oh, well, all right, Mr. Gensler, goodbye. What'd he say, Buck? Well, he said he's saving me for the climax of the picture. The important part is right at the end, you know. That's why they have the finale there. That's know? a great idea, Jack. They need a fella like you. Yeah, that's what he said. No matter how good the picture is, you've got the personality, ability, and magnetism to give it that terrific final punch. You can put it over with a bang. Phil, you're kidding. I sure am. <laughs> Now, wait a minute, Mr. Harris. That's my career you're kicking around. <laughs> yeah. Well, Buck, I gotta... <laughs> I gotta leave you now, Buck. I'm due back at the studio myself. Say, Andy, I think I'll go along with you. I'm kind of anxious to see how Mary's doing. Mind if I go along, Jack? Not at all, Don. You want to join us, Phil? I'd like to, but who'll lead the orchestra? Oh, come on. After 37 weeks, they're not going to start looking at you now. Okay. <laughs> Can I come along too, Jack? No, Kenny, you stay here and do your song. You can join us later. Come on, fellas. So come on, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, gosh, they all left. Oh, well, what are you going to sing tonight, Kenny? I'm going to sing I Know Now from the Singing Marie. Atta boy, sing, Kenny. Uh Discover your mistake It doesn't show your weakness It shows you're strong When you admit a blunder That you
Studio. Casting office. One moment, please. Paramount Studio. Fred McMurray. I'm sorry, lady. Mr. McMurray can't see you. Well, don't get mad. He can't see me either. <laughs> Well, fellas, here we are. Yeah, I wish I didn't have to work today. Are you sure we can get in the studio all right, Jack? Of course we can. I'm not under a contract here for nothing. Don't tell me you get paid. <laughs> now, what do you think? <laughs> That'll keep you quiet. Paramount Studio. Just a moment, please. You're wanted on the set, Mr. Devine. Thanks. Get me a ham sandwich first. Okay, see you later, Buck. <laughs> so long, Andy. Well, here's the information desk. I'll find out where Mary is. Oh, young man. Yes, sir? Uh, I'm uh, Jack Benny. Could you tell me where This Way, Please is shooting? I could, but what have you ever done for me? <laughs> well, this is the information desk, isn't it? Say, are you trying to bribe me? <laughs> now, look here, young man. What stage is Mary Livingston working on? Stage seven. Thanks. How do I get there? You can walk or I'll take your piggyback. <laughs> Oh, come on, fellas. We'll find it ourselves. You know. <laughs> Say, who needs him? Wasn't he a fresh guy? Hey, Jack! Jack! Jack, here comes Kenny. Well, you certainly made it fast. How'd your song go over, Kenny? You know me, Stuff Baker. <laughs> <laughs> well, take a hold of Don's hand. We're on our way over to Mary's. Hey, this is quite a studio, isn't it, Don? Oh, uh, it sure is. I'll bet you know all the big movie stars here, don't you, Jack? Most of them, Kenny. After all, I work here. You know, fellas, I'm certainly anxious to see how... Hey, Jack, Jack, here comes Marlene Dietrich. Where? Oh, yes. Hello, Marlene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Miss Dietrich, hello. <laughs> that didn't work either. <laughs> I guess she didn't recognize me without her makeup on. <laughs> She's pretty, isn't she? Huh? She's my dream girl. Well, wake up and live. Dream girl. Jack, isn't that Gary Cooper standing over there? Where? Oh, yes. Hiya, Gary. Hello, Sam. Uh... <laughs> Sam. That was my name in my last picture, you know. <laughs> well, here's stage six. We're almost there. Say, Jack, there's a man that looks just like Abraham Lincoln. Well, he ought to. It's his statue. <laughs> oh. Well, here we are, fellas. Stage seven. Follow me in. Yeah, I guess they're I guess they're ready to shoot. Oh boy, look at those curse girls. See you later, man. Woohoo! <laughs> hmm, leave it to him. Oh, pardon me, uh, sir. Miss Livingston is working on this set, isn't she? Yeah, but I wouldn't bother her right now. She's in a very bad mood today. Very temperamental. Yeah, what's the trouble? Well, you know how these actresses are. Uh, there she is, Jack. Oh, yes. Huh? Miss Livingston. Miss Livingston. Yes, Mr. Flore. That's Mary's director. Try that scene again, and this time give me a little more emotion. Please. Oh, all right, but I'm not a machine, you know. Just take it easy. Now, quiet, everybody. Quiet! 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 <laughs> Who, me? Kenny. <laughs> all right, Miss Livingston, make this a good one. Come up! We're turning. Action! Oh, what is this hollow existence? What is life but a shell? I may have millions, yes, but what good have they did me? Done me. <laughs> oh, darn it. Quiet! What's the matter with you, Miss Livingston? What's the matter with me? Me? The man stands there and asks me such a stupidious question. Stupid. Stupidious? Pictures. Ah! Cinema. Ah! It's all too, too revolting. Gee, I never saw Mary act like that before. Try it once more, Miss Livingston. No, no, I can't. I really can't. Mary? I don't feel those lines. I don't feel the part. It ain't me. Wow! Now, Miss Livingston, please try and... I can't work with this crowd staring at me. People, people, people! I want to be alone. Mary, what's the matter with you? You stay out of this! But I'm only trying to help Miss Livingston. I don't need any help. I'm Robert Flores. Well, I'm Jack Benny. I'm Kenny Baker. Quiet! I'm Don Wilson, and Jell-O has six delicious flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, cherry, orange, lemon, and lime. Throw that guy out! I don't care. I did my duty. Quiet! <laughs> What are you doing tonight, babe? Nothing filthy. Quiet! 
Now, Miss Livingston, please control yourself and let's try that scene again. All right, but this is the last time. <laughs> now, Mary, Mary, get in there and show them what you can do. Put everything into it. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Come on now, this time you're going to get it. Ready? Camera up! We're turning. Action! Go ahead, Miss Livingston. Oh, what is this hollow existence? Oh, what is this hollow existence? What is life but a shell? I may have millions, yes. But what good has it done me? Money, money, money! That can't buy happiness. Hey, Bert! Shh, quiet, Andy. Quiet. I crave affection. I'm hungry for love. I'm starving. I tell you, starving! Where I go again for sandwiches! <laughs> Take mine, salami! Oh, what is this hollow existence? Cut, cut, cut! Sardine on toast! Post egg on pie! Quiet! 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 Ice cream is a great American specialty, and here's how to make the finest ice cream you ever tasted. Make it with Jell-O ice cream powder, a new improved product which makes delicious creamy ice cream right at home. Ice cream made this quick, easy way is more economical too, for you actually use less cream and get more ice cream. You make it right in the freezing trays of your refrigerator, or you can use an ordinary hand freezer and get the same delicious results. All you do is combine Jell-O ice cream powder, some milk, some cream and sugar, and you'll soon have a quart and a half of smooth, mellow ice cream. A quart and a half, mind you, or twice as much as you get when you use most other such products. Jell-O ice cream powder comes in five flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, lemon, and maple. And uh, there is unflavored, too, so that you can make any other flavor you prefer. Serve ice cream made with Jell-O ice cream powder for dessert soon. It's bound to make a big hit with everybody. Ask your grocer tomorrow for Jell-O ice cream powder. Jello series. We're with you again next Sunday night at the same time. Say, Mary, I'm surprised at you. When I make pictures, I'm not so temperamental. Neither am I. This was your idea. <laughs> Say, Jack, were we really at Paramount tonight? No, Kenny. The whole thing was only an illusion. Then I might as well tear up this phone number. Yes, Bill. Shucks, do I have to tear up these sandwiches, too? Quiet! 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 Program comes to you from Hollywood over the red network of the National Broadcasting Company. <laughs> <laughs>